Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. Um, I am Lutra FM, that is the channel, and I am here with my Wraith Rover saying, um, where you left us off last. We had a few games in the Premier Sports Cup group stage, and we won three games in a row. This last particular game was very entertaining. We had uh, Alias, we had so many penalties. Um, four penalties awarded to us. Um, Hoyland got two goals, Aleski got two goals, and Lewis Vaughan got two goals. So yeah, very good result. And now we're playing, um, we're now playing Ross County in the next game. But before we do that, just a few little things. Um, I'm trying to, f I basically checked my finances and my wage budget was over 30,000 more than it should have been. So basically I had to get rid of a few players. Um, Halliday's gone, Shane Flynn's gone, Brennan bart has gone. That's, that's the ones I mentioned last episode. But then we also got rid of Harry Arter, Baldé and Lewis Green. And also... Oh, okay. For some reason I thought it would tell me that I, the, the players that I released, but it hasn't. Uh... But anyway, I got rid of a few other players. A few that I signed in the summer, um, like Craig Sibold and... Uh, Kadeyoshi Miura, because Kadeyoshi Miura got injured for six months, so I just thought, sod it, get rid of him. Try and free up the wages. And basically, the reason why I've done that is for to try and sign this player here, Deli Ali. Anybody that knows me knows I love Deli Ali. He's one of my favourite ever players. And in every save, I try and sign him, whether I'm Newcastle, Everton, or whoever. So um, I tried to sign him. He wanted too much, so at the moment I've got to wait a bit because, as I said, look, I try again um, because of the breakdown, so I've got to wait a bit. But I've tried off him a trial. Um, I've just got to hope that nobody else signs him in the meantime. Nobody else is interested in him, so I'm hoping he'll lower his wage at the time. But he'll be a very good sign for us, and we've got just about enough to probably bring him in. Um, so, yeah, so we're doing all right. But anyway, let's get on with this game. We've got Ruse in goal, Faye is right back, Warner in centre defence with Sacco, Alioski is left back, uh, Zulu Aga and Fleck in midfield, Kinder on the right, uh, Bahanda in the middle, Vaughan on the left and Hoyland up front. Some international flair in the Rafe Rovers team today. Complete contrast to the team that we started with and that's not a bad thing because the team that we had just wasn't good enough or I wasn't good enough at making them a good team so I'm hoping this new approach of bringing in a few other players will come in oh nearly scored already still got the ball oh no but yeah I'm hoping it will work out well for us but yeah we're currently top of the Premier Sports Group which is good hopefully we get another win here we can stay top we've got Roth County Boss County Bremen down on it um, but yeah, going right this season so far. But then again, we did well in the Premier Sports Group stage last season, and then we just did terrible in the Scottish Championship. I'm hoping we can change that. Vaughan with the free kick gets saved by the keeper out for a corner, I think. Yeah, Fleck with the corner crosses it in, headed out. Zulu Aga. Oh, that's the end of that then. Um, but yeah, not not the most exciting first half. I mean, we have been seven shots, uh, only one on target. <clears throat> right, hopefully the second half we can get a goal. We don't need to win this game, but it would be good if we did. the corner to Hander back to Alioski Alioski all the way back to Ruse I think everybody wants to get a touch of the ball in oh what a ball oh look at that Emil Hoyland so bloody lethal I wonder if I can sign him he probably won't come to us in fact I'll just 
make an offer. I've got the money to do it. We probably won't get him. I can't, I don't think, I can't imagine him wanting to come to us on a permanent transfer. If he does though, that'll be an amazing signing. I might just start raiding Scandinavia for their, their players at this rate. Maybe I could sign Haaland's cousin, play him alongside Hoyland. Oh, there we go. Hoyland. De Vaughan. Oh. Black. I mean, that should have been a penalty. You got you had two players tackle him at the same time. Out wide to Faye. That's a penalty. Yep, that's a penalty. Alright, Vaughan. Lewis Vaughan. Mr. Ray Rovers. Get in. Never in doubt. 2-0. Got a corner. And, sorry, throw in. Black. Zulaga. Dan Danda. Alioski. Vaughan. Ooh. We're all over Ross County. They don't know how to handle us. Dander. Oh, I thought he was going to turn around and shoot then. Alioski. Yes, get in. Own goal by James Brown. How old James Brown? Get on up, burn, get up, burn, get on up, burn, get on up. Get on up, get on up. There you go, third James Brown for you. Yeah, intercepted by Fleck, Alioski. Across to Sacco. Sacco hasn't been booked in this game yet, so that's a. That's a miracle in itself. He usually gets a yellow or a red card. We do need to get a better centre back to replace Sacco eventually. At the moment, we haven't got it in us. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Everybody's playing relatively well so far. Been a really good team performance. Everybody does. Nobody looks knackered just yet. So we don't really need to take any of the offer unless they have to. <clears throat> Danda. Oh. oh. Hoyland nearly uh, took advantage of a defensive error there. Alright, let's see how it goes now. Ross County seems to have a little late spurt here. Hopefully it won't matter though. I mean, I've said that before, but I was winning 3-0 twice last season and then it ended 3-3. Free -free. So, yeah, I don't count all my chickens just yet. Uh, Black can come off. Got Scott Brown on. Uh, have we got any other defensive midfielders? Yep, Paul, you can come on. And then Dander, you can come off, and Osman can come off. There we go. Some press legs for the last few game, last few minutes of the game. Alioski now passes it to Vaughn. We've got a, I don't know, I'm gonna say a one and one. But there we go. Oh, Osman missed that terribly there. Right, it doesn't matter though. We're three 0 up. We're happy. We'll take that. I'm hoping this will give us great confidence in the league campaign, but we'll see. Um, right, we've got our first championship game coming up in a minute, so I will be back shortly with the first game of the league campaign. We're back for the second part of the episode, um, just to update you before we play our next game. Um, Transfer-wise... We are looking to get rid of these two players as they're not they're just not good enough basically. Um we've signed this gentleman here, Yayo Polo, um a midfielder we signed from Sheriff Post Chiro Post Moldovian team basically. Um we signed him. Um we tried to get Dali Ali again, we were able to offer him a contract, but 
at this current time, even though um, he wanted ten and a half thousand, we could only offer him nine and a half thousand. So um, I tried to negotiate with him. He then wanted all different add-ons and he wanted his wage to go up to 17k a week and I just didn't have the budget to do that so he rejected it so we'll just keep trying we'll sign him eventually because he'll just unless somebody else signs him obviously but we'll he'll, he'll I mean I've managed to sign him after in my second season with Barnet for instance so we'll get him eventually he'll 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 get um he won't be so big for his boots when nobody else goes for him. But yeah, who else have we got rid of? Oh, that's it, really. So yeah, nothing really exciting major has happened. But yeah, all right, we've got Greenock Morton next game. So pretty much unchanged defence and centre midfield. And then same in all the other positions. So let's see how we do in our first champion Scottish Championship game of the season. Right. There we go. Hopefully, Hoy oh, something I forgot to tell you. Um, Hoyland didn't want to come to us at this current time. Uh, he has got interest elsewhere as well. Um, Sunderland are interested in signing. Oh, hold on. No, he won't come to me. So he'll probably go to Sunderland. He's obviously too good for us. Unless we get to the Scottish Premiership and then we might be able to sign him if nobody else signs him, but that's the only chance we've got. Um, I don't know what's happening here. This isn't meant to be like this. There we go, 1 0. Um, I'm sorry that you weren't able to see it. Oh, gold disallowed anyway. Right, let's click on it. Oh, it won't let me. Right, let's click on that, and then that usually fixes it. There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, there we go. Let's look at this disallowed gold again, because we didn't see it the first time. Born with a beautiful cross. Oh, maybe it won't show us. Okay, fair enough. Or is this, is this it coming up now, maybe? I don't know. I'm really confused. Oh, this is it. Yeah. I don't know how he was offside. Okay. Right. Sorry about all that palaver then. Technical issues. Ah, uh, J. Quinton, Quinton, Quin, uh, Quit, hold on, Quitton, Quitter, Quitongo, Quitongo, there we go, it takes me a while, I have to break up the, the word, and then I get there, um, can't believe he's only 26, I feel like he's, I feel like I've seen him on Football Manager for about 20 years now, it feels like. Um, yeah, this is not good, is it? Come on, let's get an equaliser. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like we're just not... Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm not going to say anything just yet. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Back with the corner. Um, Corner, another corner. Right, first half ends. We've been the better team. We've just been very unfortunate not to be winning. Um, but hopefully we can get a goal back. Right, got a corner. 
Black with the corner. I want us to get a win in this first game because I feel like pre-season was point and the Premier Sports Group was bloody pointless at this rate. Let's go. We need to show that we can do it in the league as well. Yes, get in. What a great little goal by Faye. Fair play. Good. That's good. That settles my nerves a bit now. Right, let's go on and win this now. We've been the better team. Uh, Zuliger, Black, Bay, Zuliger, Bay again, Tinder, uh, Bay. Oh, okay. I thought I was playing, bloody watching a pinball thing. The amount of passes going on. Okay, play with the ball again. Oh, there we go. Lovely little follow-up by Lewis Vaughan. Mr. Rafe Rovers comes to our rescue again. This is what I want to see. I want us to see I want to see us being playing good. Bloody hell. Rabadine in the uh Rabadine in the Scottish Championship. Have I just seen that right? Did they get relegated? Aberdeen. Sir Alex Ferguson would be fuming. I can't believe they got relegated. Oh, we still haven't won just yet. Let's, uh, let's try and get a bit more out of the team. Uh, Kinder, you need to come off. We'll put Muskwe on. Dando, you need to come off. You're tired. We put on. Hmm. We'll leave that for now. Um. Oh, we'll, we'll just do this first and then right let's figure out who can we put on for Danda okay apparently we can put Fabina there and then Lewis Vaughan needs to come off and put Matt Ritchie on hopefully Matt Ritchie will use his great crossing abilities uh, we'll see oh. Sako's Naku we've got to take him off we haven't got anyone to replace him because he's already used our substitutes that might come back to bite us in the arse. Hopefully we can just see this game out. Come on. No more surprises, thank you. That's what we like to see. If that was last season, we'd have lost that flipping 3-2 with the last two minutes to go. I can't believe Aberdeen got relegated. Relegated from the Scottish Premiership. Uh, can we go... Oh, how do you do this? There is a way of doing this, isn't there? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, they got relegated. Surprised by that. No. Tried to go for Matt Smith again, but he doesn't want to come to us. Oh, God. Sacco's injured for three weeks. Have we even got another central? Oh, we've got we've got Daishi. We've got Daishi. So, we'll be all right. I might try and look to bring in another one there if I can. I don't really want to spend any wage budget because I'm already over it and I want to try and bring in Deli Ali. I wish they would just let us move some of the transfer budget into the wage budget. Hopefully we can encourage the board to give us a bigger wage budget. Probably not going to happen though. But we'll see. Right, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. And uh, we're back for the final part of the episode. So um, I've just forwarded it. To the next game, we've got a very tough game against Aberdeen. I don't fancy our chances personally, but we'll see. Um, I'll be ecstatic if we even, even get a draw. We needed to get a centre back in, so we've managed to get this gentleman here, Malik Narofki, um, from on loan from Celtic. And I just want to check if there's any been no Scott Brown left basically, but that's about it. Right, so. Ruse in goal, Faye right back, Narowski is making his debut in defence alongside Warner, Alioski is left back, Fleck and Zu Luaga in midfield, Kinder on the right, Bander in the middle, Vaughan on the left, and Hoyland up front. Hopefully Hoyland can uh, have a really good performance in this game, because uh, we are the underdogs. 
I mean, I know Aberdeen got relegated, but they are way too big to be way too big of a team. That'd be like the equivalent of say, um, I don't want to say Liverpool, but like a like a like a, you know, I mean, they're, they're the third best team in Scotland basically, and they got relegated. You just wouldn't have that in very often anywhere. Be like Leon getting relegated from France, for instance. That's probably a better example. Oh Jesus! Here we go. One 0 already after seven minutes. Maybe I should have set this game up as uh, maybe I should have set the team up to be more defensively in this game and just try and grind out a draw. Right, next highlight is Aberdeen's. I think every single highlight is going to be Aberdeen's, but I've managed to get the ball back. Rue's playing against his former club. Hopefully, he'll have, get in, uh, have a good performance. Prove him wrong for uh, not keeping him at the team. Oh, interception by Lewis Ball. Leading by example. Drives it forward. Cross. Oh, for God's sake. That would prob that's probably going to be our best chance of the game to score, I think. Seem to... Uh, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm going to wait. See how this highlight goes. Alowski. See, that's why I didn't get my hopes up. Have we got no? There we go. Still got the ball though. Faye. Zui Laga to Faye. Oh, what a cross. Oh, and again. I think we get the host again then. There we go, got the ball back. So we are we are doing better. We are coming into this game now. We're uh, we're showing that we can do this. Which is good because last season we'd have no chance. <gasps> oh nearly. If we lose one nil and we and we play well like we've been playing, I'll be happy with that. Because it's Aber like I say, we're playing a team like Aberdeen, we're not expected to win. Faye though, oh. Faye, you're not left-footed, mate. That was a waste. Look at the look at the amount of chance we could have. The XG tells us we should have scored. Aberdeen might make us punish for our missed chances now, though. That was a good ball, Kinder. Oh, we hit the. I can't believe it. The third time in this game, I think we've hit the post now. This is so annoying. Aberdeen's going to score now, aren't they? Oh, come on. Oh, that was a good call, though. That was a beautiful little goal by Clarkson. I'll give him that. Oh, we were doing so well then. We were the better team in that first half. We were like, Aberdeen started strong, and then we come into the game. Let's let's see if we can get a, a goal. Let's give us a chance. Right, goal kick to them. They boot it out. We get it. Faye. With a cross. Yes, get in, Dander. There you go. Right. Have we turned the corner in this game? Can we get another one? Uh, not yet. Right, okay. We've got throw in. Faye. Fleck. Zulaga. Trying to keep the possession of the ball. We're going to pass it all the way back to our goalkeeper. Ruse to Warner. Vaughan. Dander. Come on, Aliaski. Back to Mr. Rafe Rovers. What a cross to that for a bit of tackle. Oh, yes, get in. Hoyland, go on, what a comeback, come on lads, have we got another goal in us, are we going to Are we gonna shock the, the world of Scottish football here? Right, encouraging the players, hope for that help, right, we've got a few tired legs actually, so let's sort that out first, let's go into tactics, who's not? 
I don't really want to take anybody off and go, ah, there we go. You're knackered and not been playing well, so we'll put you on. Who else? Uh, you've been playing really well, Faye. I don't want to take you off. Fleck, I suppose you can. No, Fleck can't come off. You don't. I don't want you to come off because you've scored. I don't want to take you off. So we're going to go with Kinder for now, and then we'll leave it, and then we'll just see what the assistant manager recommends in a minute. But yeah, we've um, we've surprised Aberdeen here. Oh, is there going to be a late goal? Yes, get in! Oh my God, Dander, who was just about to take off as well, just got the winning goal. Oh my God, what a result. What a result. We were not expecting that, everyone. Not, no, no way. This new Rafe Rovers team, we are... We're in it to win it this one. I'm very happy. I'm so I'm so glad I, I um stayed with this save now. Yeah, well done Faye, you're doing really well. Right. Um we'll do this we'll play this game. And then we'll call it an end to an episode. But what a great episode for you lot to watch. Absolute brilliant win against Aberdeen. Just praise them two players. I know I'm, going to, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to go slower, but I do go too very fast. Um, I just want to have a look at this. What we're, what's the match review, season review, preview? So we are meant... Oh, okay, look at that. We, <laughs> we're, we are definitely the favourites to win. I didn't think it'd be that obvious. I, I just assumed Aberdeen would have been the uh, the the ones... We are one tonight. Well, if we do not get... If we do not get first place, it'll be an absolute atrocity of a season. But look, look how many players we've got in the predicted team of the, the year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that is very good. Let's, let's see. So, key players, Kindle or Fabina. So, we did well then signing them. Um, if, we, if only we could sign Deli Ali. Oh, I did that twice there. There we go. Um, Delhi, Ali. Let's see if we can offer him a trial at least. No. Um, hold on. Delhi, Ali. Trial. Four weeks. Let's see what he says. He'll probably reject it automatically because he spat his dummy out last time. <laughs> yeah. We'll get you though. We're going to sign you. Um, I'm going to release Balassi. He's never going to play for us. I just I signed. I just went crazy and signed a couple of ex Premiership players that I actually remember, and I quite liked Balassi when he was at Crystal Palace. He was quite skillful, same as Saka when he was there when he was at Crystal Palace and Wolves. But yeah, he's gone. We got rid of him. We use our transfer budget to get us out of our wage budget one way or another. If we can't turn the transfer budget into wage budget, then we're going to use the transfer budget to release players to then free up the wages. That's how it will be done. Yep, but that's it. We hardly knew you. No, we're not getting rid of you. So I wish these players, I wish these teams would stop going for him. Oh, Fabino injured. Ah, oh, it's only a couple of days, it's fine. Uh, no. You're not missing anything when I'm going really quick. If there was anything important, I would tell you. Um, so, yeah, so don't worry. I'm doing it for your benefit. I went too quick. <laughs> I just said, I just said. Oh, okay. <sighs> right. Reject. Stop offering me 60. They offer me 63 grand every time. Right, we're going to offer you a new contract. Hopefully that will stop people pestering us. I, I reject their offer and they offer me the same offer again. I don't understand it. Okay, right. 
So we're playing Inverness next. We are obviously we are apparently the favourites uh, in every game we play now. So Ruse, Faye, Nowalski, Warner, Alowski, Zulaga, Fleck, Kinder, Van, uh, Danda, Vaughan, and Hoyland. Our strongest team probably. I did laugh when I saw the odds. I wasn't expecting us to be that obvious of an uh, odds on favour. I thought it would be like top, like in the top four for the predictions or something. Top four prediction. I wasn't expecting us to be the obvious winners, but then I suppose the signs we've made probably would make us the obvious choice. Because unfortunately, the AI is not very good at buying players. So, because because all the Scottish teams probably got just a, just the same amount of money. But they choose not to spend it wisely buying players. Hence why we're the really the, the obvious odds on favourites win. There we go. Dander again. Dander's been a great little sign in, hasn't he? Scored two important goals in the Aberdeen game and now he's scored again. Lewis Vaughan in the in the mix again with the assist. Fleck. Crosses it in. Will he have another chance? Oh, no. Faye. It's his turn to cross it in by the looks of it. Well, passes it in. No. Fine. We're one nil up so far, so that's good. Three games, three wins so far by the looks of it. Ah, saying that they're in. Vanessa has now got a corner. Nicely saved by Ruse. Yeah, I think we've done really well in the transfer window. We haven't gone crazy. We could have we could have gone for some wonder kids and stuff like that, but I didn't really want to do that. So um, we've signed some really good experienced players like Fleck, and we've signed some international players. Um, we've signed some prospects released from other teams like Danda. So it's a it's a good mixture. Of experience in youth, I think. Ah, Nowowski's knackered already. We'll just keep playing them as long as we can. Right, we've got our free kick, Fleck. Nicely saved by the goalie. Uh, I'm going to take the mask off now. Dylan Core can come on. Fleck drives it forward. Beautiful pass. Oh, that's a penalty if I've ever seen one. Kinder got assaulted there. No other way, no other way to explain that. Lewis Vaughan lines it up. Mr. Ray Rovers. Get in. Never in doubt. Go on, Lewis. Right, we'll take our form because he's knackered. Uh, Faye's knackered as well. So, Matt Ritchie maybe? Oh no, yeah, no, we'll have to play Matt Ritchie for now. Kraft is still not match fit. Uh, Fleck? We can't put anybody up. Can't take anybody else on, so that's it. Yeah, 2 0 up. Not long to go. Good performance. Nice little uh, episode for everybody to watch. I'm just glad to have an episode where I'm not getting all doomed and gloomed about my uh, about Rafe Rovers' rubbish displays. Oh, unlucky flag. Right then, that's the end of that then. Good result, good result. Nice way to end the episode. Right. Hopefully we're turning the corner and we can get the promoted and then the real work uh, begins when we're in the Premier, uh, Scottish Premiership. So yeah, we've got Dundee United next but um, in the Premier Sports Cup but we'll come back to the next episode with that. So yeah, thank you to everyone for tuning in, subscribing as always. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It shows me that you're interested in what I'm doing. Um, also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv, Lucha FM. Um, 
you'll see me doing a Barcelona save where I'm only signing former Barca players. Uh, the, the main aim of the save is to basically bring Lionel Messi back and a few of the other classic players like Busquets and things like that for a season or two. But the long-term aim is to just to, just to keep playing the young players there, the academy, and have a eventually have a whole team of academy products win the Spanish League and the Champions League. Um, my my aim is to do at least ten or more seasons with Barcelona because of the long term finances as well. They've got loans out till like till like two thousand thirty three. So I'm hoping to at least do ten years and see how it goes from there. So yeah, but anyway, right, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of your your Sunday. And I'll be back on Monday. All the best. Bye.